everybody, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, and today I want to talk to you about the God of restoration. Because I believe that God in the season, He's beginning to restore, and He's beginning to release to you a compounded effect of interest. Every single thing that was taken, stolen, from you, against you, every slander, every attack. God's about to bless and restore like never before. Let's go into the passage here in Joel chapter 2, verse 23 to 25. Be glad, O children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given you the early rain for your vindication. Some say vindication. He has poured down for you abundant rain, the early rain and the latter rain as before. The threshing floors will be full of grain. The vats shall be full and overflow with wine and oil. And the Bible says, I will restore to you the years that the swarming locusts have eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, the cutter, my great army, which I sent amongst you. Right now, I want to talk to you. According to this passage, number one, the Bible says, rejoice. It starts off here in verse 23. Be glad. In midst of devastation, in midst of chaos, in midst of what we see in the nations, the fake news, the word of God says, Israel, my children, my people, be glad, rejoice, because it is your praise that begins to bring miracles down. Our prayers and our praises go up and then the blessings come down. So first and foremost, the attitude of gratitude, the spirit of rejoicing, the spirit of thankfulness and being glad is what opens up the heavens of abundance. So number one, be glad. Someone say, be glad. Number two, the Bible says the early rain and the latter rain. It's interesting because the Bible here says, I will give you the early rain for vindication. Are you ready for God to vindicate you? Are you ready for God to set you up with miracles and suddenlies of justice? You may have thought that you were behind, but God's about to lift you up. You may have felt like you were down in the gutter, but just like he did with Joseph, get ready for the palace promotion. The Bible says the early rain is for vindication and the latter rain, say latter rain, is for abundance. There's two types of rains, the early and the latter. And I believe in this season, God is saying, I'm releasing double harvest. I'm releasing double seasons of favor, the early and the latter. The best is yet to come. I believe right now, church, God wants us to be in expectation. God wants us to be in prayer and to rejoice because more is coming. Somebody say more is coming. The latter is coming. The Bible says in Haggai chapter 2 that there is a latter glory. There is a greater glory that's coming. And the latter rain is about to shock, bless, and surprise you. Just like a dragon or a snake, there's the head and there's the tail. Many people will say that's the backlash of the enemy. Get ready for the tail of God, the finishing grace of God, where he always saves the best for last. Number three, there is harvest and new wine. Some say harvest. My goodness, the word of God here says that I will give you the new wine and oil and you will overflow. Someone say overflow. Your threshing floors will be filled with grain and your vats will overflow with wine and oil. Are you ready for the new wine? Are you ready for the new oil? I know it may seem like you are in poverty. You're in lack. You are in devastation right now. Your credit cards are in the red. Your credit score is down below. But God's about to increase. Your threshing floors and your vats will be full, will overflow with harvest and with new wine. God is releasing the Holy Ghost and is releasing the power of his word. Number four, the Bible says that I will restore to you the years. My goodness. Every year that was taken, every time, every second, every moment, every month, every week from that divorce, from that abusive, narcissistic relationship, where you were defamed, where you were demoted, where doors got closed on you, you felt like you were behind, you were delayed. God is about to restore to you all the years that was taken away. That word restore in the Hebrew means pay you back. It means to give you back. It means to pay back what is rightfully due to your name. Do you know that the Lord has great blessings written down according to your name? These blessings will be paid to you in full. God cannot be mocked. 
Whatever a man sows, he will reap it. And I believe in this season, God is an I'll restore. I will pay back every single cent, dollar, open door, connection, relationship, gift, realm, anointing that is due to your name by the blood of Jesus will be given to you in abundance and with expediency. Amen. So I'm going to say restoration. And again, the last part here is these four types of warfare. The canker worm, the palmer worm, the grasshopper, and the locust. The prophet Joel talks about four types of insects. I don't know about you, but I don't like insects. I don't like mosquitoes, bees, flies. But these four types of insects, which destroy four types of harvest, four types of soil. The word of God says in the book of Malachi that he will rebuke the devourer. Every devouring spirit that eats away at your finances, that destroys your agriculture, your crops, your harvest, God is going to rebuke these four types of insect warfare. Remember, one of the names of Hazatan Satan is Beelzebub, the Lord of the Flies. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. I believe right now God is going to rebuke the devourer. God is going to rebuke the locust, the grasshoppers. Remember, in the days of Exodus, the locust grasshoppers flooded Egypt. It stood for a curse, but not today, Satan, and not ever. For the people of God, their bounty, their vats, their threshing floors will be filled with abundance and blessings. Are you ready for restoration? Are you ready for the early and the latter rain? So be glad and rejoice. Because God is releasing new oil and new wine over you. I want you to lift up your hands right now. Because I believe in this season, God is going to bless you like never before. God, I thank you for our friends. I thank you for victory. Permanent victory. Permanent prevailing victory. Perpetual victory over all these enemies, enemy spirits, opposing factors, familiar spirits. God, I thank you that every single person watching this video today, that God will restore to you the years that these enemy spirits have taken and eaten. Get ready for restoration payback and for you to overflow. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. I'm so glad you joined us today. Let me know if you received this word and let me know if this word blessed you. God bless you and I'll see you soon.